Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah the Brick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 102 of the year 2019 appointing Yusuf Abdullah Hamoud Undersecretary for Financial Affairs at the Ministry of Finance and National Economy. The Minister of Finance shall execute this decree that will come into effect from the date of its issuance and will be published in the official Gazette. His Majesty also issued Decree 103 of the year 2019, appointing Hussein Ahmed al shail as Assistant Undersecretary for Air Transport, Aviation Safety and Security at Transportation and Telecommunications Ministry. The Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications shall implement the decree, which takes immediate effect and will be published in the official Gazette. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa was today welcomed by the National Evangelical Church, the Sacred Heart Church and St. Christopher's Cathedral to mark Christmas festivities. During the visit, His Highness noted that the Kingdom of Bahrain continues to provide a model for religious coexistence between all faiths through the values of inclusion and cultural understanding. Sheikh Mohammed highlighted that the values are upheld by Bahraini society whilst highlighting His Majesty King Hamad's role in promoting these values across a range of areas. His Highness wished the church leaders a happy Christmas and stressed that the kingdom remains committed to fostering harmony amongst Bahrain's multi-faith society. His Highness concluded by highlighting the importance of encouraging interfaith dialogue and respect amongst communities, whilst noting the important role the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence plays in this regard. For their part, the heads of the churches who welcomed His Highness expressed their appreciation for the wishes communicated by His Highness wishing the Kingdom of Bahrain continued progress and prosperity. The President of the Court of the Crown Prince, Sheikh Khalifa bin Daij Al Khalifa, the Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamidan, and a number of officials were also present.
Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa patronized and inaugurated the 26th edition of Al Ayyam Book Fair, which is organized by Al Ayyam Press Publishing and Distribution. At the Bahrain International Center for Exhibitions and Conferences, in the presence of the chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Al Saleh, ministers, senior officials, and media figures. Deputy Premier stressed the importance of culture and the benefits of humanities and affirmed the importance of such events in enhancing cultures and highlighting the importance of reading. He expressed the contributions of Bahraini intellectual figures who built the basis for the cultural movement of the kingdom. He expressed thanks and appreciation to Al Ayyam for his commitment in holding this event for 26 years now and affirmed that such events receive the full support of the government led by His Royal Highness the the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness uh, the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He stressed the government's keenness to provide an environment that supports creativity, innovation and culture. The Deputy Premier toured the event and looked at the latest publications and expressed his delight in many institutions that integrated technology and sources of science and knowledge. He called on the press and publications companies to work together and apply modern technologies that facilitate information transferring and provide translation from any language to Arabic. The event witnessed the participation of 240 institutions from 16 countries exhibiting for 10 days. Al Ayyam Board of Directors Chairman Najib Al Hamar expressed thanks and appreciation to Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah for patronizing the event, which reflects his keenness to enhance cultural values. He added that the event attracts new publication companies every year and said that this year witnesses the signing of more than 100 of authors from the kingdom and the region.
The president of the Sustainable Energy Authority, Dr. Abdul Hussein bin Ali Mirza, presented 52 out of 55 contractors and consultants with certificates to install solar energy systems. They participated in the sixth edition of the intensive training program for contractors and consultants specialized in installing solar energy. Dr. Mirza stated that the Sustainable Energy Authority's commitment to develop training programs stems from the leadership's keenness on utilizing clean energy in the kingdom for the sustainability and development of energy resources. The participants expressed thanks and appreciation and gratitude for holding such important training programs. The Kingdom of Bahrain witnessed this morning the annual eclipse phenomenon. The eclipse began at 5.32 a.m. as the moon began blocking the sun. The sun rose at 6.22 a.m. and it was partially eclipsed as a crescent. The eclipse reached its climax at 6.36 a.m. when the moon was at the closest point to the sun. Enthusiasts of astronomical phenomena gathered at the Royal Police Academy, led by Professor of Physics at the University of Bahrain, President of the Bahrain Astronomical Society, Dr. Wahib al Nasr, where protective glasses and specialized telescopes were installed to monitor the astronomical phenomenon. The eclipse uh, subsided at 7.49 a.m. It is worth noting that the number of eclipses witnessed by the sky of Bahrain in the 20th century is 23 out of 228 eclipses witnessed by the globe, which means that the sky of Bahrain witnesses approximately 10% of the eclipses that occur on Earth. <laughs> 